In Iran, funeral ceremonies continue to be held for the remains of government president Ibrahim Raisi. In Venezuela, during an ordinary session of the National Assembly, the Parliament approved a draft agreement to repudiate the despicable murder of the young Venezuelan Orlando Figuera. And in Argentina, teachers and police protests continue in the province of Misiones to demand wage increases. Hello and welcome to From the South. I'm Alejandra Garcia from Telesur Studios in Havana, Cuba. We begin with the news. In Iran, funeral ceremonies continue to be held for the remains of government president Ibrahim Raisi and other political leaders who lost their lives in a helicopter crash on May 19th in the northwest region of the country. The acts to honor the national leader started on Tuesday in the city of Tabriz, where the citizens had the opportunity to farewell the head of state and his partners. The presidential plane transferred the body of the Iranian leaders to Tehran to continue with the funeral prayers and ceremonies. The remains of the the Iranian president and his commander arrived in the city of Qom, where tributes will be paid at the Holy Shrine of Harshdat, Fatima Masum, and at the Holy Mosque of Jamkaran. Likewise, the next commemorations will take place on Thursday in Birjand and in, then in the city of Mashhad, where the head of state Ibrahim Raisi will be buried since he, this is his hometown. Let's review the route taken by the funeral procession. On Tuesday, it reached the city of Tabriz, where citizens had the opportunity to bid farewell to the head of state and his companions. After Tabriz, the bodies of the martyrs were transferred to the city of Qom and then arrived in the capital, Tehran, where the leader of the revolution and the Islamic Republic of Iran, Ali Khamenei, will lead the funeral prayers on Tuesday night. Likewise, the next commemorations will take place on Thursday in Birjand and then in the city of Mashhad, where the head of state, Ibrahim Raisi, will be buried as this is his hometown. In Iran, the president's chief of staff, Kalam Hossein Esmaili, in an interview given to a television program, revealed details about the Iranian president's helicopter crash. Kalam stated that after 30 seconds of continuing the flight above the clouds, the pilot realized that the president's helicopter disappeared. They tried to call the foreign minister and the head of security, but neither responded. The flight crew said they had called Captain Mostafia Favi, who responded and said he was not well and that they had fallen into a valley and did not mention anything in particular. The Kolam Hossein called with the same phone and the representative of the leader of in the province, Muhammad Ali Ali Hashan, answered and said that he was not well, that he was in pain and that they had fallen among the trees. He then said that he did not see any of the other passengers and that there was no, near, no one near him and that the forest was dense. The rescue teams immediately headed towards the area that they had estimated as the crash site. Later, when the crash site was found, the condition of the bodies showed that the president and the other passengers had lost their lives immediately, but Ali Hashem lost his life after a few hours.